Dang. Okay, the car is not unlocked. That's a great way to start out this video. I'm about to head to the pool for my last training session before I leave for Atlanta tomorrow. Just got a haircut. I've got like eight more things on my to-do list today. So I'm gonna chug this coffee, go do some 10 meter, and then do a billion things all before 8 p.m. Okay, so I just finished my last practice on this 10 meter before I leave for the Olympics tomorrow. And by leave for the Olympics tomorrow, I mean I'm going to Atlanta for a training camp before we leave. But tomorrow, I don't have to train. I just have the day off of training because I'm traveling. So now it is time to say goodbye to this 10 meter for a month and a half and say hello to a lot of errands that I need to run. And my girlfriend's going to be here in half an hour, so she's going to be going on errands with me. <laughs> I have so much to do. I don't think I've ever taken this camera up here to 10 meter. Um, this is the 10 meter. This is where I stand and flip off of every single day, pretty much every day. It looks really long on the camera because it is very, very long. This is probably one of the longest 10 meters I've ever dove on. Okay, it's really hot up here. There are heat lamps up there and it makes me sweat a lot. So let's go run some errands. We stare at this every single day, but we still don't know who wrote that. It definitely was not one of us because that is not my handwriting. Yes, I do practice with coffee. Goodbye. You served me well for an entire year. Next time you guys see me in West Lafayette, I will be living in a new house in a new part of town on a new street, and it's gonna be great. And I'm not really sad to see this house go. It was, it served its purpose for a college house, but man, was that house disgusting. All right, time to go to Carmel with this entire carload of stuff. So much stuff that I can't even see. All right, explain explain what you've created for dinner. Well, uh, back when I used to watch the Olympics back in 1972, we always ate steak, fried potatoes, and corn on the cob. So we have T-bone steak right here. T-bone steak. T-bone steak. Per perfectly. And we have mama's fried potatoes. Oh, Look at yes. that. Oh. Eating like you're, kings on my last night home. That's right. Your your heart valves are gonna slam shut when you eat this stuff. Yes, I'm gonna <laughs> die on the platform from a heart attack. This is gonna be great. All right, I'm looking forward to a good evening tonight. We swipe for the Johnsons, and now the whole family can go. It's very humbling. Hey, oh, that's my dad. People have on the news. Go, it's Dad. <laughs> The former coaches rather hey, that's family. our family vacation photo. <laughs> all right, this house is a mess 100% because of me. This is all my stuff from my other house, but I'm almost done packing. Packing is almost complete. I'm gonna finish in the morning though. I am completely exhausted. It is 12.40 in the morning. I'm waking up at 7 a.m. because I have errands I have to run and stores are not open at 12.40 in the morning. I've got all my clothes packed. I've got my outfit for tomorrow. Where, where is it? Right there. I've got it picked out. I'm just so tired. I need to get everything done in the morning. I didn't get much sleep last night because of a storm, but I did stay up a little later than I wanted to packing because Troy Sivan was on uh, Jimmy Fallon, so I stayed up to watch that. So I'm going to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, be sure to subscribe because tomorrow I'm leaving for the Olympics. The Olympic pre-camp in Atlanta, but it's the beginning of this Olympic journey starts tomorrow, so trying to video every day of the experience. I'll see you guys along the way. Good night.